Hey there everybody, this is Deegan from Deegan Network and welcome to episode 13 of Neverwinter Nights 2, the official campaign. Okay. So, previously on Neverwinter Nights 2, we finished Highcliff Castle Ruins and convinced the chief to stop attacking Highcliff's boats and the people. That way, we can move on to Neverwinter. And let's talk to these two bitches here. Thank you so much for finding the boys. Andrew just returned home. Zakin and I owe you so much. Yes, again, you show me the meaning of courage. Ill Mater, bless you. Uh huh. Okay, there's a reward for this, I hope. Without question, for what you have done, Garen and I owe you our lives and our entire family. Of our entire family. Great. Uh, Andrew shall be raised to have the same honor and character that you possess. He will learn from your deeds. Uh, you'll convince him to get into more trouble next time. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, let's see. You told your son that I killed a thousand dark dwarves and lizardmen. You told him that, Zakin? Yeah, that's a problem, dude. Uh, this is rather rather embarrassing. I want my son to grow up with the courage that I lack. Pfft. Well, you know, courage is overweight or overrated. You know, uh, I was hoping that he'd find in you a role model. Pfft. Full of shit. You fooled. You truly believe that of yourself. The two of us are going to need to have a little talk. Oh shit. Hmm. If you're going to tell them stories, at least say it was 2,000 lizardmen and dwarves riding on their shoulders, or just be more careful. Let's be a dick. I'll strive to be more prudent with my tales in the future. <laughs> just fucking with these guys. Please accept this gift from the two of us. We, we are forever in your debt. Alright, thank you. This amulet has been handed down to my father and my father from to myself. It has not seen any us for three generations now. I entrust it with you. Cool. We won't take up any more of your stupid time. Thank you for blah blah blah. I don't care. Okay, so we, we got something. Zach Zach and Zamulet. What to do? Ooh, more constitution, more will. Will. Interesting. Aha. Cool. Hmm, 15 constitution. I mean, I could give yes. that to Nishka, but she already has vitality too, so that's awesome. Let's rest. Yes. 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 All right, and we have to go talk to Junie, I believe. Where the hell she is? She's over here. Awesome. Are we gonna level up soon? Nope. Seven thousand. Boo. I really want to level up. Uh, thank you so much for finding my husband. He just returned a short while ago. Something happened to him while he was out there, but he won't talk about it. He seems so sad. <laughs> hmm. At least he's back to help care for our daughter and this season's crops. Thank you so much. Okay. So. Break promise. Should I screw him over because he ran away? Yes, I should. You realize he was running away from you, right? Dude, bros before hoes, man. Got to tell her what's up. What? You must be lying. William understands his responsibilities. He would never do such a thing. Oh. I don't like being called a liar. Maybe he left because you're a shrieking harpy. Ooh. I don't want to say that. You know what? Fuck it. Screw Junie. What? How dare you? You have no right to judge me. Get out of here. I'll handle this myself. I should have known it better to, than to rely on a stranger for help. Oh, you son of a bitch. Whatever. <laughs> I, could get, I could give a fuck. Shrieking Harpy. I'm going to use that from now on. That's a good, that's a good comeback. Have you any news regarding the lizard folk? Yes! They want to make a deal. You cannot trust those beasts. 
they have just enough intelligence to avoid killing their own young. Whoa, that is racist, man. But I shall listen. What do they want? They agree to leave Highcliffe alone if the village agrees not to trespass into their into their turf. How are we to know that our village was so close to their lair? Well, don't you do like an environmental study before you make a city? Dude, come on. It's basic Civ 4, Civ 5 stuff. Surely it would be easier if they were to find another home along the coast? Nope. The thought of a lizardman clan leave, living so close to our village. I don't like that. Lizard folk fled to the mayor and have resettled. On my word, they just want to be left alone. <laughs> this wasn't easy. Make the fucking deal. I'm certain it wasn't, but it's equally difficult for me to place my trust in animals. Uh, I found their chieftain to be reasonable and honorable. He will hold up his end of the bargain. Yeah, success. I shall trust your judgment on this. You've already done more for my village than I ever hoped for. Forgive me for my abs abstinence. It is the weakness of an old man. All right, now get the fuck out of here. I need. I have a. Oh yeah, I think I deserve a little something extra for the work. Of course. Make repairs to the double eagle. Nice. Thank you again for helping me. Yay. Uh, we took up a collection here in the village. Have a surprise for you. There's enough to pay for your passage in to Neverwinter. It's not a lot, but you have done so much. We had to find some way to show our appreciation. All right. I'll put it to good use. Humble rewards. Armor. Okay, now I believe we have a ship to catch. All right, not leaving just yet. There's still a few things I have to do. Okay, let's take a look at this armor. Armor of loyalty. What is this? A light armor. <clears throat> and it helps with charm and dominate and gives more armor. Hmm. That's cool. Three, five. However, I don't use dexterity, so that's not for me. I guess we can give that to Eleni. Armor check penalty minus three. I mean, does she even use dexterity? She does. What a bitch. Cool. Yes. 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 Oh yeah, I'm I'm ready to leave. Let's go to Neverwinter. A hey, my stomach's already started churning. How long is this trip? It's like a month. <laughs> Oh, do be quiet, Kelgar. Enjoy the waves while you can. What a fucking bitch, man. I'll say, you know, it'll be nice to travel without being hunted for once. Whatever. Nice. Alright. Now there's... We're finally going to Neverwinter. 13 episodes in, man. Uh-oh. This is some epic shit right here. I like how he's like. Charge of the fog. Show it to me. Show it to me. Yes, Sierry. He kind of looks cool. Sierry. Is that what you sought? No. It is much more. Forget the betrayer. Forget our vengeance. These shards, they must all be found. Whatever forces you need, we shall grant you. But these shards must be ours. Of course, Zieri. It shall be done. Yeah, but how can you find... It's like, whatever forces you need. So we need 10,000. And then they just randomly summon 10,000 green people. Like, oh, I'll find you some green people. Here you go. That... I don't know if those are like undead. They're probably like goblins or whatever. They have like a whole draft order to green people. All green people must report to Zieri. If you don't participate, you die. Oh yeah, this is okay. <laughs> He's bald. He's balding. Dowrin, Lord Dowrin. Lord, Lord Mother. Come now, you remember? 
Has it really been so long? You oh, shit. But, but you died at the battle at West Harbor. Delayed, perhaps. <laughs> My imprisonment was most distressing. But dead? Now how could I oh, die shit. with so much left unfinished? He looks scary. And there is so much more left to do. Cool. I'm guessing that guy's in a coma or he's dead or something. Hmm. Interesting. So that guy was uh, in one of the cinematics by, yeah, the High Cliff Castle Ruins, I believe. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we are in Neverwinter City. Yeah, yo. So this is Neverwinter? Suppose it's possible. For a city built by humans, can't <laughs> say I care for it though. You want a proper city, you build down, not up. This place feels unnatural. Weird. The wood and stone, it's as if they've been silenced. Fucking I wish you'd both be silent. Oh, the entire snap. trip was just one long whine from the two of you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my stomach feels funny. <laughs> this boat rocks like a baby's cradle. This water is so unnatural and deep, not like the swamp of dead people I grew up in. <laughs> not that I've got great memories of this place, but it's home. So, where are we going first? Alpha Han? Well, hmm. There's no hurry, let's just explore a little bit. Or we can go to the Uncle's Inn. Yeah, let's go there. Not sure I can stomach any food yet. A stiff drink and a good tavern brawl, on the other hand. I say lead the way. Besides, I'd welcome a stable bed after being trapped on that filthy excuse for a boat. It's like a slave ship. That's how filthy it was. Cool. What is this? Neverwinter Citizen. And what is this? District Exit. Armor Smith. Is this it? Sunken Flagon. All right, let's save the game real quick. Ta-da! All right. So Neverwinter has a lot of shit that we have to do. God damn it! I hate it when that happens. It just cuts out. Anyway, Neverwinter City has a lot of shit that we have to do. It's pretty awesome. I know there's a fork in the road, the good path and the evil path. I've never taken the evil path, so we're going to do that. Ah, uh, yes. Duncan Farlong. Well now, what can I do for you? Bit of venom for the belly, perhaps? Or maybe a tanker or two to shave the edge off your day? Would you like some poison, or would you like some alcohol? Uh-huh. Is this a sunken flagon? It is indeed. Find this establishment in the docks for a fine tankard of ale and some good conversation. Nice. Who's the owner? You mean old Duncan? Oh, well now, if you're looking to collect on some debt, I'll tell you that he's a drunk and he hasn't got two coppers to his name. What a dig. Uh-huh. I'm his nephew. I'm related. Huh. Oh, that's so? Well, sometimes here at the docks, kin come rolling in. Strange kin, too, and they're asking for all sorts of things. You fucker. Uh huh. West Harbor was attacked, people are dead, and Dagan sent me on a mission, so quit fucking around, you little bitch. Dagan, eh? So the time's come, has it? Trouble's chasing on your heels, and you barely know why. Suppose Dagan told you less than half of what you need to know, then sent you packing. Don't take it hard. Done it to me twice in my life. All for good reason. I she can told me about 10%. Here, but why don't you go ahead and tell me anyway? Well, Dagan told me to seek you out that you might know something of these silver shards recovered from the battle at West Harbor. Oh, did that's he? Only, that's the Nothing only thing he told us. Years ago, plain silver near as we could tell. You and those shards were all that were left of that West Harbor battle. Duncan, I thought you said that shard was magic, didn't you? Trace of an enchantment on it is what that <laughs> he ignores said. him. But nothing of importance. Probably residue from demon's fire or maybe wizard magic. Demon's fire? Sounds important to me. And that cell is why you are cleaning tables and I own this place. Oh snap! Those shards were magic, yes, a trace. But again, it was sand. 
And he's a fool! Anyway, barely worth mentioning. More sentimental value than anything else. Sentimental value. Then huh? really why you came all this way. It's a dildo. To hear about your mother? Mother? Whoa! Uh, my mother. What does she have to do with it? Yeah, your mother. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Since you were asking about the shards. What? Dagon still kicking that Esmeralda of Tajikistan. It's a wonder he doesn't crack down the middle. Ah, but you know, I have no call to say that. I think that's why he buried that first shard. And gave the other one to me. Um, yeah, how are they related? I think he might have been better off being raised by wolves if Dagon didn't share that. There's a lot I'm sure he never told you. But listen, it's his place to tell you, not mine. Oh, He'll tell good. you when he's ready, I think. But it's best you hear it from him. Let's stick to the shards for now. You, I want to know, man. All right. I brought the other shard, and it's definitely magic. Or, yeah. You brought it here? Yeah. Dug it up from those ruins? Yeah, it sucked. Now, why in the nine hells would you go digging up the past like that? Look, and listen. There's no good in picking up history's bones, especially where that warlock's concerned. I heard the tales, and Dagon told me what happened at West Harbor that night. Who's Sand? A hedge wizard. Somehow hedge. set up shop on the docks. But it's telling enough he can only run a business down here in the crack of Neverwinter. Got a dry wit, and it'll always rub you the wrong way. So his name's <laughs> well chosen. Still, I suppose I trust him enough. And having a wizard close by certainly tends to keep fools from causing too much trouble. Really? Well, me and Dagon took the shard to him back when he lived in the merchant quarter, before his run of bad luck. But he couldn't get much from it. Just faint traces. Well, it's got power now. Maybe he can get another read from it. Here. I've always kept it close for some reason. Didn't want to leave it out of my sight. And how Seemed convenient. unremarkable. But I find that sometimes time will tell. Had Sand examined it a long time ago, but... He turned up nothing. What if he's lying? Okay, maybe with two of them he can get a better read from it. Well, it's worth a shot. But don't pay him any coin in advance, that's all I'll say. In fact, that viper would be best- Ah, it seems I've arrived just in time to deflect the usual barrage of slander from the local innkeeper. Oh shit. Sand. Yes, it is good to see you're still sober enough to recognize me, Duncan. <laughs> Pass the- Stale beer, vinegar, faint sweat, failed aspirations, oh. unwashed tunic. Damn. I thought perhaps you had already had one tankard too many for the day, but... Why, your guest here has the smell of a harbin in about them. So much faint. taller. But there... I thought Duncan was keeping company too good for oh, him. Snap. Now I see I was right. Duncan, you could learn a few things from your guest. Hmm. Still passing off those two copper fare with the charms to the local sand? You have no appreciation for my talents, and after all Dick. I've done for you. To think you could survive a fortnight without my ale purgative. Why, you would be buried in the tombs with the rest of the Neverwinter traitors. A betrayer of barkeepers everywhere. Wow. But enough about you and your adventurous exploits on the tavern floor. I heard my name mentioned, and oddly enough, almost in a tone that suggested I could help. This here's kin. I'm not really seeing the family resemblance. <laughs> we need your help concerning the shard. Both of them. Shard? That chunk of silver you showed me so long ago? Hmm, I do hope you're not going to try to pawn it to me again. I am no longer interested. Besides, as I recall, you said the piece of junk had sentimental value, which, upon viewing your establishment, is perfectly understandable. <laughs> Besides, didn't your uncle <laughs> and cousin bag, or brother man. or whatever make kind of like this guy shard? already? I thought you only had one now. It found its way back, so to speak. We need you to look at both of them again, properly this time. Oh, very well. Give them here and let me see what my keen arcane senses can determine. Like how he just stops and he's watching. Oh! <laughs> Knocked out. Well, it seems to have some resentment to being scried. That is quite different than last time. Are you sure these are the same shards? The power in them? Why, it's definitely stronger Dude, than my last hat. time. It's fucking cool, man. Much stronger. Oh, so now they're magical. I'm not paying you for two failed divinations, you charlatan. It's hey, not a matter of divination you want class. tank and drunk. There is something about these shards. Without knowing their history, even my considerable talents cannot unlock their mysteries. Cool. So, we need to do that. Okay. 
How can you not sense the magic in those shards? I can tell just by holding him, bitch. Because he's incompetent? Oh! Duncan, the more I speak to your kin here, it's evident where the sense in the family went. Oh, Since burn! Since you seem to have been given all the brains of the family, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. But I do know the shards did not have the same strength the first time I examined them. Cool. There could be something about you that causes them to resonate. But I have no idea why that would be. Because I'm awesome? So, hmm, who knows about the shard's history? You could try and speak to Aldenon, Alden. but I don't think you'd have much luck reaching him. The Black Lake District is closed down. Aldenon lives in the Black Lake District, you see, and now he's trapped there. The watch has it locked tight. No one going in or out, no messages in or out, even for the nobles that used to live there. Quite cryptic, really. Really? And why is that? I heard about that. Lord Dalrin was killed, wasn't he? Oh, he was killed. I've heard rumors, but no official word of what happened. As have I. Not only are the Watch not talking about it, but they even called in the Cloak Tower mages to investigate. Oh, shit. Which means sorcery or demons were at work. Demons? Demons? Closest I've ever come to demons is Dagon's tales about the battles down south near West Harbor. When there was that trouble with the King of Shadows. We got a demon in our party. King of Shadows. Some sorcerer, I believe, had a number of demons and shadows at his beck and call. Not many tales left about that period of Neverwinter history, oddly enough. But you say this Aldenon might know more, Sand? <sighs> well, if you're not a member of the Watch, or know a secret route into Black Lake, then you're out of luck. Oh, shit. So it seems like you have no choice but to let me examine the shards at my leisure. I'll need to hold on to them, of course. Wait, watch mm -hmm. your secret route. Not <laughs> bad ideas. Either way, the coin lands. Hell, there's yes. Marshal Cormac. He's currently at the city watch post. And I know he's in bad need of an extra sword arm down at the docks. Cormac? From Fort Block? Yes, I heard he got back to Neverwinter mm. recently. Surprised he even made it with the troubles I've heard around Fort Locke. Trust me, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> I like how she participates. Too. And folks of the harbor are as close to kin as you can get out of the mare. He might be able to take you into the watch. And from there, speaking to Aldenon shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Uh huh. Is there any other way? If you want to find another route into the Black Lake District, that means dealing with other folks that try to control the docks. Moya and her gang. Moya. Oh, there's an idea, Duncan. They probably were behind the watch closing the Black Lake District in the first place. Oh, shit. Hmm. Where can I find some of her bitches? Oh, she's got thugs all over the docks. But finding one who can get you to her? There's Caleb. He used to try to get me to pay him gold for protection before I told him about the wards I had inscribed on the building that caged the Guardian Elementals. Long story, but quick resolution. So you yeah. lie to him? Why Maybe. great guy. <laughs> but I don't trust that harbor rat to give you a fair deal. Mm -hmm. And the price will be steep, in bodies or coin. He doesn't like being the only one with blood on his hands. Oh, wow. <gasps> doesn't sound like someone we should put our faith in. Obviously, you've never dealt with the Watch in Neverwinter, Kelgar. Dealing with Caleb is probably our best chance. Still, the chances are simply talking to Caleb will make you want to kill him, so it seems a clear win to me. If you do speak to him, though, be sure to do it downwind. Okay. So. <clears throat> joining the Watch, upholding the law, or descending into crime. Good versus evil. Dagon, or not Dagon, Duncan versus Sand. That's nice. pretty much how it stands. You can find Cormac in the watch post, near the Dolphin Bridge that leads to the Merchant Quarter. Mm. He needs help, so it shouldn't be much of a tough sell to join up. Caleb should be lounging around the corner, east along the main road. Just follow the smell. If you want to join with him, he'll probably ask you to hurt or kill someone, so be warned. I'll mark okay. both on your map. Help you get your bearings. Well, you can certainly find your way into trouble from here. Me, I will head back to my lonely merchant existence. Should you need my expertise, simply ask. But just in case, bring a great deal of gold as well. Greedy bitch. All right, so that's cool. Well, there you have it. Talk to Caleb or Cormac. Cormac is at the watch post near the Dolphin Bridge. Caleb should be lounging down the street east along the main road. But while you're here, feel free to make yourself at home. 
Also, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Thanks. Your companions are welcome to stay here as well. Even if you're off on some other journey like the one that sent you here. They're all welcome to make themselves at home whenever they're not traveling with you. That way you'll know where to find them if you need their help later. <laughs> Sound good? Cool. Okay. So... You tell me about sand. That little shabby and Viper's got a wit to match. But he has his uses. And he's one of the only peddlers of charms and potions here in the docks. So he gets by. Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't understand why he couldn't afford that place in the merchant quarter. His potions are cheap. And they work. If you need to use his alchemy workbench, or you're shopping for some minor magics, then he's a good one to see. Okay. Well, see ya. Awesome! So... I guess we can talk to some people. Oh, Bishop. Bishop. I didn't ask for your company. Hey, well, you're kind of an asshole then. Neverwinter Citizen. All these people have names. I guess we could talk to Sal. I greet you. No, I won't be paying, man. Paying is for douches. Why would I pay when I'm family? I guess, dude, this bishop guy. Be careful. You don't want to cross me. Dude, I can kick your this ass. This here is my place. And way over there is your place. So, know your place. Oh, okay. Fine. Douche. Let's go. Kelgar, Nishka, Eleni. Except party. <clears throat> So, we have to go find Caleb or go to Cormac. I remember Cormac saying he had a a reward for me. So, I kind of want to go over there first, but I don't want to join the watch. Because I've joined the watch before. So, if I just join the regular people. The criminals of society. What the hell? Why am I alone? That's not what I wanted. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. Oh well. But I am level 7. So Kelgar, Nishka, Eleni. Set party. Planning out what abilities you're going to take at each level will ensure you will become the prestige class you want. Yeah, that's kind of the point. That's why I've put in 5 points in hide. Thanks for that tip. Nice. Let's go. Oh yeah. I can do that too. Oh yeah. Wick my Volcrane. Nalik. He sucks. Alright, let's go find uh some people here. A little map transition. So that's Caleb. City Watch is way over there. Let's go get him. Repo the Weaponsmith. Repco? Oh shit. What's going on? Oh, pff, faggots. You little bitches. Oh yeah, you just got your butthole caved in. I'll talk to the Weaponsmith later. You can do all that stuff later. Just go to the city watch and collect some loot and leave. Puppet mode is a companion behavior mode available for advanced players who do not want their companions to engage in combats or do anything by themselves. Hmm, interesting. Marshall Cormick. There must be someone who can spare the lieutenant. He's the first to take a stand against these thugs and deserves our protection. You know the number of men I have available to me, Marshall. You also know the efforts I've been taking to weed out the turncoats. I could spend some, send some watchmen to the shopkeeper, but then I'll have to postpone the sweep through the northern district. I'm sure you'll agree that we want every man available for that operation. Council hasn't done us any favors with that last vote, have they, Lieutenant? We'll just have to make do with what we've been given. Okay, very well. Postpone that sweep, assign some men to the shopkeeper, place the orders on. Pa! 
Well, look at the winds brought us, Neverwinter. It's good to see you again. If I do call, we will promise a reward if you decide to seek me out. I spoke with the captain once I returned, and she agrees that your services were quite valuable. All right. I'm glad I didn't have to remind you. 300 gold. I am a man of my words as a city watch. In any case, it'd be hard to forget what you had to go through back at Fort Lock. Yeah, no shit. With that taken care of, is there anything I can help with you? Nope. See ya. Nothing, because I'm not joining the the military. Sorry. However, I've 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 joined the the watch before in my previous playthrough, and I've gotten pretty far into the into it, but uh, I haven't finished it. So that's that. Okay. However. I've never joined the the thugs because I've always played a good character. Nice. Some stupid ring. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We are going to be talking to Caleb next. And I guess I can go to the weaponsmith as well. I'm going to do that in my free time, though. And we'll be talking to Caleb and joining the criminals around here. All right. See you later.